right. What's up? You're probably wondering, what the heck is in this super big box? And also, look, Taylor's making another video. Today, I'm doing an unboxing of this big boy. This is an AOC CQ34G2. And it's got a 12-9 aspect ratio and a 1500R. Uh, you know, it's pretty sick. 75 hertz. Uh, not top of the line, but uh, it definitely gets the job done. So let's go ahead and have, open this bad boy up. Definitely plenty of packing tape here. So right off the bat, you can see this thing is going to be pretty big. Uh, it's got some assembly instructions here and uh, some more assembly instructions. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like on the inside. Got some safety stuff here in uh, multiple languages, which is always good. Got a HDMI cord and uh, the other kind of HDMI. I think it's DDMI or something like that. Not really sure. Power cord. Muy importante there. So let's see how I can get this thing out. Oh, she's not wanting to come out immediately. I might have to apply some technique. So this is proving to be kind of difficult to get out so far. Let's see. Oh, can't get this out. Oh, I see. It's little handles on the side. So you want to make sure those are out. Here it is. Here's the, uh, the neck. <laughs> Looks like what you'd expect from like a super cool gaming computer type of situation. And then the stand itself. Got all that plastic over there. Really saving the trees, guys. Great job, AOC. <laughs> no. Looks like it goes into this. Here. And then there's like a little screw down at the bottom. And you just kind of you screw it in. Makes sense. Simple, easy. AOC is really making up for the... Uh, all the extra waste with the simplicity of the assembly, which is really nice. So that's our stand so far. All right, now here's the big reveal. I'm gonna take this plastic off. Take off the top layer of foam. Ooh. And let's see what we got going here. Looks good behind the veil, but let's get that veil off. Wow. She is thick. This is a big girl right here. Look at that. All right, I'm noticing the setting buttons are on the bottom. Cool. Being careful not to touch the screen. 
And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is the face of the future of gaming right here. This is huge. Just to give you some scale on my face. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna set that here. I'm gonna move the camera around so that you guys can see my desk set and then we'll go from there. All right. So I've got the screen here. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to this guy. It doesn't look too hard. It's just got these little, these little niches in the back there, these little gaps where you're gonna to wanna to put, um, oh wow, that stands up by itself, that's cool. You put, uh, that's actually kinda of dangerous I feel, but <laughs> you're gonna put these little, these little guys in here. They just fit right in. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and make it happen. That was a very satisfying click in. So there you go. The first shot of it in its own little eminent home here. Very cool. So let's see what it looks like turned on and plugged into a computer. <laughs> Who would ever have thought to do that? So in order to do that, we need the power cord. This shouldn't surprise you, but I already have an HDMI cable plugged into my computer already. Um, so I don't really need I don't really need that HDMI cable that it came with. I'd like to experiment with the other HDMI cable it came with. Um, this one, it's not quite the same as an HDMI cable you might notice there. It's got a little, or I guess a lack of a indentation on this side. So this side's kind of more like what a HDMI cable usually looks like. But you guys didn't come here for that. You came here for the big, the AOC here, the 34 inch curved gaming monitor in the G line, second generation, baby. So plug in the power in here, plug it into the back. We'll tell you how easy it goes in. So far, not that easy because I don't want to flip this. There it is. Right, went in pretty easy. I'm just gonna take this over to my power, my power source. It's not not the uh, not the longest power cable that I've ever had the privilege of getting to know. Uh, but that's okay. All right, she's all plugged in power. Now let's get the HDMI cable in there. Like I said, this is not the HDMI that came with it. Not that that really matters anyway. Let's see. Whoa. Wow, that has a lot of tilt. <laughs> All right, she's in. Tilt that back down. Boot her up. So far, so good. Huge. Huge is what we need. All right, very cool. So right off the bat, let's take these stickers off. Right off the bat, this is definitely very good definition. Let's try a, a YouTube video here. So you are getting these, uh, these black parts on the side here. Um, which a lot of people will have an issue with. Let's go to 4K and see if that eliminates it. No, it's still there. Um, so you can't, so not, not all uh, web content is gonna be optimized for this size of a screen, uh, which is not a huge surprise, but um, let's see if there's anything optimized for it on this that they'll suggest for me. New York, let's try that one. No, see that one's also not optimized. Uh, so, so we're finding out pretty rapidly that this product may have some diminishing uh, qualities. Um, so let me let me just put this on and tell you guys a little backstory about why I purchased this product. Uh, this is three hundred dollars. Um, you know, I feel like it was. This is a on the. This is the lower end of these thirty-four inch uh, screens. Um, 
$300 is a, is a lot of money to spend on a computer monitor, in my opinion, but I think that this is probably the best that you're going to get um, in that 75 hertz category. Uh, it's big. I do, a, I do a lot of stuff with uh, um, a lot of different tabs that have to be open, a lot of different windows. So I like to keep them all over the place, and this will be the first time that I'm going from a 227 two monitor setup to a 134 inch monitor setup and you know this is definitely smaller than two 27 inch uh, monitors so that's interesting that's something to take note of but uh, but it's a uh, it's just compact and it looks a little bit sleeker when I get the desk cleaned up um, which won't take long here I can do it in a second but now you can kind of see you know more of what it would look like you know, it's just very clean. It's a very clean look. You don't have to worry about um, anything weird, you know, happening with the screens, you know, getting off kilter. Not that that happens all the time. But anyway, for $300, I thought this is pretty good value. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments and the likes if you guys want me to do more unboxings. I, I don't plan on it, but I this is a special product for me, you know, something I've been saving up for a little bit. So I wanted to kind of unbox it for you guys there's also you know most likely you're just typing in the unboxing of this product so let me know how I did uh, if you're if you're an aficionado in the unboxing world uh, I just tried to have a little bit of fun with it um, you know but I might get into more unboxing if you guys are wild and crazy about this so so let me know in the comments what you think uh, would you buy this would you recommend this for somebody who's a gamer or for somebody who's uh, a worker uh, at home worker I got that's why I got this uh, let me know in the comments what you think and uh, and I'll reply and we can see what's going on thank you so much